Jeffrey Runyon is coming to us through Google+. Plus. Mm -hmm. He says, if humans are ever going to travel to Mars, what are we going to eat along the way? Food has a major psychological aspect to it. If people are going to be under enormous stress in close quarters for two years or plus, two plus years, uh, they're going to need more than astronaut ice cream to keep them going. Of course. And there, there's a whole... De there's, psycholo there's an entire... A branch of psychologists that are in the employ of NASA at Houston, uh, uh, yes, at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, whose sole job is to worry about the mental health of astronauts. Let's just get that up front. Really? Okay, yes, there is. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the uh, about the food, I actually visited the kitchen, the, the, the cosmic kitchen <laughs> at NASA at Johnson, and you meet the chef who's making food that can last 10 years without refrigeration. Wow. I had a steak that had been in a, in a packet on the shelf for five years, unrefrigerated. With, uh, so some foods, they just irradiate it. When you, you know, why does food decompose? Because there are microbes in it, eating it before you have a chance to get there. Right. That's why, it's not a natural thing in the universe for something to decompose. That only happens on Earth, hmm. where there are microbes everywhere, smaller than your eye can see. But if you leave out a slab of meat, They'll start chowing down on it, okay? So, make sure you take this trip and there's no microbes on your food, so you irradiate it. So there you have it. All right, now there are other problems. The molecular structure can break down. So the meat or whatever other food can start tasting mealy. Mm -hmm. So there's not only the taste of the food, but there's texture. Right. So you got you want to worry about that. Uh, all astronauts take comfort food with them. There is meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's, you know, rice and beans, there's, you know, there, uh, tortillas. Tortillas great because it doesn't make crumbs when you eat it. Okay. Regular bread, you eat it, makes crumbs, and the crumbs are floating around the space station. Could end up in a duct somewhere. Right. All right? Uh, but tortilla doesn't make crumbs. So there are a lot of foods, international <laughs> foods at that, and especially evident in the International Space Station. You start comparing food from different nationalities. And, you know, yo, what's cooking over there? And who's got a better smelling... Uh, uh, dinner for the evening. So uh, the point is, they do think about what food to bring, and you want uh, you want enough of a diversity of food that you can uh, you can spread the spread the love to different kinds of food groups and different uh, 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 nationalities. But the bottom line is, you don't need more variation of food than most people would ever have in their own lives. Hmm. I bet you there's no more than two or three kinds of breakfast cereals you ever eat. Is that correct? You are correct. That's correct. And Think about that. You know, there's not that many different things. And how many times do I eat a pizza and love it? You know, at least 20 times a month, practically. It, it is the perfect food. It is the perfect food, exactly. So, and I will still eat me some astronaut ice cream. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, by the way, the trip there would take about nine months. The alignment of Earth and Mars, uh, that alignment happens about once every two and a half years, where you minimize the energy to get there. Right. And when you launch, it takes about nine months. But Earth and Mars are not still lined up for you to come back. You have to wait a few more years for that that next alignment to help you come back. So a total round trip Mars mission is going to be three or four years. Gotcha. So what you really want is like gardens on Mars. You're going to create a habit a hab module, then and, and you can grow pigs and cows if you're carnivorous. Exactly. Or celery and carrots if you're a veggie, and you know go to town. By the way, one of my favorite bands ever, Gardens on Mars. Oh yeah, excellent, <laughs> excellent.